Hey there, Boots Owen here. This is a Baumatic washing machine, an 8 kilo plus 5 kilo. So it's a washer dryer, BDI1485D4E, if that's not a mouthful. It's an integrated appliance. It came with the hinge mounting blocks there. They were shoved inside it. It's got no fascia down below. You can't see. Well, let's just tilt it forward. I've already posted a short of this video doing the filter on the street and I was passing by a few days later and it was still there and I happened to be in the car so I took it with me. I've put all my workshop rags in it, I'll plug it in, plumb it in and we'll get going now. Don't know anything about it, I took the top off to have a look and it looks really clean. I think I checked the bearings and I think they're okay, like just okay. Plug it in, power's on. Water's on, the drain is present to the to the drain. We're getting 849 minutes. I need to put some kind of detergent in it, I guess. Oh, it's full of sauce already. I don't know, it seems to have been full of sauce and maybe it stopped in a wash. It's on wool. Let's put it onto uh, whites, L3. That might be a load capacity thing. Three hours is too much for me. Let's try it on a rapid and see what happens because it's only got the rags in it. That's a rapid 14. Uh, I think H01. Oh, that's adding time to it. I don't want that. That's a time delay. I think I just need to read. There we go. H0. Um, 1400 spin. 30 degrees, 14, 30 or 44. Let's put on a 30 minute wash. Is there a start start button? Let's see what happens. It's just got the rags in it. Sounds like it's pumping. The pump's dry. Let's check if plugs in good and tight. Just check that. It had been siliconed in. You can see a big gob of it over there. Ooh, that's not right. Oh, I turned the water off again. Let's see. Instead of turning it on, I turned it off. So now it's taking on water a little bit. A little more. Okay. Turning. We'll see if it works. I'll check in and out, I think. I don't think I'm going to record the whole thing. So this is a street find outside what I suspect is a student house. A house where students live. A rented house. An integrated appliance. Could be that the dryer doesn't work. That's an option. It looks like for the knob on the right up there, you do all of your selection for washing. And then it only seems to have a drying option here. I'm not sure how that works. I guess you turn it off and turn on the drying. It doesn't, I don't see a point. Oh no, I do low heat and high heat up at the top of the selector there so it'll take on some water and do its thing i'll come back if anything interesting happens i hope it doesn't leak so about 10 minutes past and it's flashing a sunlight oh, and it's doing some beeping something there went to 3.05 or something like that maybe 3.03 .03. you can see it says 3.02 it's harder to see it on the phone than it is on the screen the door's unlocked it's soaking wet it's warm so it seems to have warmed up a bit i wondered if it had gone from being on an auto to being on a like it had gone up to doing a whites wash because it's so filthy because they are pretty well i don't know they're looking at them there they're not too bad let's uh close the door try turning it off try turning it onto whites l3 L1, L2, L3. That might be load weight or... I'm putting on to L2 for fun. You, Yeah, it says 2.09 there. I'm not sure how this will show up on the on the TV or however you are watching it. Um, it, and it also, so what it did was it, it went from being at like 20 minutes, dropped down to, or went up to three hours and something. The temperature stayed the same at 30, but it dropped down to thousand spin so I'll press start again to see what happens oh it's a 60 wash can I change that now yeah I'll change it down to 40 I just don't want to waste the electricity the solar is not on much today because it's the middle of January 
quite warm, but not sunny. Okay, so it's draining out now. And it is draining, so it's not blocked. The motor was motoring. Clothes inside felt warm, so I'd say the water was heating. Now I should take on some water. Yeah, that's the water coming in. So there, I'll just, well, let's see if it turns again. Maybe it's got a motory problem. I can't remember if this is a brushed motor or not. I can't remember checking even. I guess we'll find out in a moment. Let's see. Is it gonna turn? Not yet. It's doing some kind of calculation thing there. 209 and it's got a little, it looks like a little weight maybe. Is that what that is? It's doing a turning around thing again. But the machine isn't turning what I would like to see happen. Two oh eight. I would expect on a cotton wash for it to take on quite a bit of water. Water stopped. It's turning. We'll see. just seems to be quite happy for 10 minutes. It's doing that calculating thing again, or maybe it just means that it's spinning 208. I'll come back to it if anything happens again. So we've tried the 30 minute fast wash, and now we're on to a white's medium load, 40 degree, 1400 spin. Just have to leave it. I'd say about 10 minutes, maybe 15 have passed, and it's gone down to 105. Everything else has stayed the same and it seems to be working quite happily. It's gone quiet for a moment. There we go. 104. It's still on the main wash. I'll keep an eye on it. So we're at 32 minutes now and it's still motoring away. It's agitating just fine. Uh, we know the drain works, so hopefully it'll drain out and start doing a few rinse cycles. It's not taking that long. It was a two hour wash to kind of jump down to an hour. So maybe it has some intelligence in it there. 31. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. So 26 minutes now and it's just finishing up the pump out. We caught it and it sounds like it's gonna try spinning. I won't watch all of these. I think I'll come back. I think I'll come back for a final spin if we get to one. It looks like it's working though. Wonder why it didn't want to work there on the short cycle. Wonder why it was thrown out. Like, it was just left out on the street. It's very clean and white, and I guess it spent all its time in a cupboard. Okay, we'll come back when it's uh, doing something else. Something's knocking there when it did a spin. That's still, still that's the first um, main wash drain out spin. It's something's knocking. I couldn't see what it was. It's taking on water for its first rinse. I've got to be careful because it's live. It appears to have a welded tub. It appears it just does. It has a welded tub, and it smells like cigarettes. Maybe I'd say. Don't know if it does or not really. Um, I can see down there the belt. I think it's on a plastic pulley. Shouldn't matter. What I could do is spin it around and look at it. I will just keep an eye on it. We'll come back when it does it again, maybe. So it's just finished its first rinse and now it's doing a load balance, I guess. It almost did a spin there, I don't know, just before I turned on the camera. There we go. 
got 18 minutes left to run. Not sure about it. It is a mixed load of rags, so it has towels and stuff in it that are heavy. It's just winding down there. It wasn't as loud that time, I didn't think. It wasn't as loud. So looking in on the top, everything's washing machine except for this guy here, which is the washer dryer. In here, coming from here, I guess, there's an element where the big cables go in. The purple and the red down there. There's an element in there detector or something there there's two thermal switches there and a fan there and what it does is it takes air I don't know where from probably the back of the machine spins it round blows it in here heats it up pushes it down into the rubber on the top of the washing machine in through the door and then I guess back out the top again and it just recirculates the air and then periodically guessing oh I've pressed a button there I didn't want to oh what happened there I think I leaned on it and pressed the button and it's gone up to 405 that's not right I don't know if I did lean on it I can't imagine what's going on there maybe that'll change again because I would have said it was at like what was it 20 minutes 17 15 something like that 405 that ain't right Hmm, let's just keep an eye on. Is it going to spin again or turn? Took on some more water. Oh, I don't know if I've broken it. <laughs> or maybe this is what's wrong with it, that, uh, like, I, I, I leaned on it, but I'm not wearing, I'm just wearing a pair of overalls here, so it shouldn't really have been able to change through. Shouldn't have been able to change in the wash anyways, really, should it? The door lock doesn't seem to, to the door lock, although locked. That's uh, interesting to note. Hmm. Press start. I don't know what's happened here. Something ain't right. Oh dear. It's off again. This could be an interesting brick smash machine. Wonder what'll happen if I leave the door open now. Taking on more water, four hours and five minutes, four hours and three. I'm gonna close the door just for being careful's sake. Four hours and three minutes, that ain't right. Right, well, when something changes, I'll come back. So, 
four hours and two minutes and we're on the second rinse something isn't right here I don't know I, I can't imagine I adjusted it by three and three quarter hours um, I don't know what button you could press that would do that anyways the fact that the door doesn't have a lock is a bit suspicious hmm five minutes later it's draining out that rinse There is a knock. I wonder, is it bearings? <laughs> Better close it again. I'm just wondering, when I check this one over, I wonder if the element in the bottom is bent up a bit and knocking off it. Depending on the loading. I guess it's difficult to say. Well, why it's at four hours, I really don't know.
What I wonder may have happened is that when I heard it beep, I may have turned on the drying cycle, so now it's going to go into a tumble dry. And I've been looking at it a bit more, and I think I've figured out a bit more about it. So it takes the air, heats it, or spins it around, or blows it over a heater down the front. And then there's another pipe coming off here for cold water that goes down there. And I think there's some kind of a condenser unit that periodically the steamy moisture filled air that's circulating through gets a trickle of rainwater basically that captures the moisture out and then pumps it out the pump at the bottom. And so these guys don't have a lint filter. These washer dryers don't have a lint filter the same as, oh, it's taking on more water for God's sakes. Oh, no, it's, it, yeah, it's taking on a bit of water. But this fan has just commenced, so it has. It's gone into a drying cycle. So I'll just leave it. I think it could be on that, well, for three hours and 50 minutes, depending on how things go. Yeah, okay, so that's on. Right. That's pretty cool. I might get the thermal imaging camera to have a look at it and see what's happening. That would be a, an idea, wouldn't it? I'll give that a go, maybe. So here it is, looking inside. The scale might change. You can see the body of the machine is the hottest there at 52.9 or something. The element is quite hot. And the motor coils are actually pretty hot, which is just is what it is. So this has the uh, outer door on it. It says that's hot, but it's not It's not particularly hot up there. 20 something. It's all relative, of course. I'm out in a cold garage. There's a bit of visual interest for me. And for you, perhaps. I can't quite make out the element inside there. You can see the two thermal fuses, but if I get in under, there's a sheet of a sheet of plastic here where my fingers are, and that's shrouding the heat for the from the camera. So there you go. So that was a bit of interesting footage I reckon. Other than what like what do you expect really? It's gonna be hot where the heat is, where it even says hot surface right there. It does smell a bit like cigarettes, I think, this machine. It, I've noticed a leak on the floor, but it's just trickling down from the front, and I think there's just a bit of... that little bit of dirt there on the door, I think, is just blocking the seal from making a proper seal. So if the seal was clean, I think it'd be fine. I could open the door, but I think that would let heat out. So I think that would be a mistake. It's gone down to an hour and 36. I'm just gonna let it trundle on. It should be finished before my tea time. And we'll see, because it suits me to have the laundry dry as well anyways. It's workshop rags. I haven't added any detergent to it. It's just what was in the drawer at the start. So, so there. I'm guessing it's just gonna do this back and forth thing. Slow tumbling. And then it'll periodically condense out some water. It's not really, it is condensing because you're putting the steam through cold water. Those oh, there's the pump. So I've just drained that. And there's a little bit of water coming out there. So however it's doing it, it must be, it must be working. So maybe the only, well, the noise is an issue when it was running and the door, they're the two issues with this machine. This has turned out to be a more interesting video than I thought it would be. I mentioned there was silicone all along the side. You can see it there. It must have been glued into a cabinet or something. It doesn't peel off. It's proper, it's proper sticky stuff. It'd be a good workshop machine, but I don't really want a workshop machine. It's hard to know what to do with it. It's 
it's been quite happily just chugging away for the last while. It does drink quite a bit of water. It's left this kind of fluffy lint. You can see it there like a cloud in the bowl. It's, it's done at least two of those bowls now, probably more. I've not been watching it. 28 minutes. It looks dry in there to me. I guess I could reach in and check, um, but it's probably a little bit damp. And it's set to sun dry, which is, I guess, the driest setting rather than hanger or iron dry. It, it's working away fine. It's a bit bizarre, actually. Let's just. Yeah, it's still it's still quite damp in there. A bit of steam came out there. I'll leave it to work away. We'll come back when it's finished in half an hour and recap. It says 11 minutes, so 10. In the land of tumble drying, it should be pretty much done, I reckon. It's done another bowl of water there. So, so there. Didn't check is that. That water's that water's mildly warm when it comes out. Ten minutes. I could open it, but I think that's a bad idea. Well, ten minutes. So it's at one and it seems to have stopped and maybe it'll stay at one for a minute. We all know about minutes in washing machines. I'm trying to unscrew something else while I'm killing time here. This could take a while. Is it going to take a while? I hope not. Well, I'll just pretend. So I've got a load of white fluff here. That's off one of the towels or something. They are all pleasantly dry, you know. Um, as a system, I think they're kind of slow, but they do work. If they're not overloaded. Tumble dryers, that is. Cool, okay. Well, what a long video. That was a lot longer, four hours and a half, I think. A lot longer than I anticipated. What do you think's making that clicking noise? What do you think's making the door interlock and not work? Questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching, see you later. Just did three little beeps and went to end. Of course, I was already in there. See you later.